right now is a man who gained uh, national attention as TV's talking computer, Max Headroom. He starred, of course, in this summer's smash hit, Honey, uh, Shrunk the Kids. Uh, currently, he's playing a doctor on uh, CBS's uh, uh, Doctor, Doctor, seen Mondays at 10.30. Please welcome Mr. Matt Frewer. Matt! <laughs> Telling me. No, and that thing's staying right on your nose where it is, too. Okay. Now, what, uh, why, what, <laughs> why, uh, why are you wearing, uh, it's very like an ice cube. It's why, up, isn't it? why are you wearing curlers? Well, I, I shouldn't ask why you do anything. Uh, it's just, it's just kind of the way you are. Why is the sky blue? Are you like this when you do a, a sitcom, like Dr. Doctor? Because, like how? Like, well, you're, you're a little off the wall, a little not sticking to the, to the, uh, to, to the, the plaster. Yeah, that's, that's, yes. That's right. Well. Because they give you a script on those things. Uh, yeah, right? they give me a script, but I like to use it as a scaffolding to jump off and hang myself on. <laughs> How artistic. Yeah, yeah. So. How do your fellow cast members feel about this? Um, I don't know. I haven't asked them. <laughs> well, should. Maybe it's about time you did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last time you were here, there was someone I wanted to ask you about, and we never June got to Lockhart? Turn. No, it wasn't June Lockhart. Lassie. It wasn't Lassie. Timmy. It was Timmy. How is Timmy? He's okay. He's still down the mine shaft. <laughs> No. Dan, you know, he passed me in the corner and I went, Dan, it's Matt, it's Matt. And he walks right over me with his track spikes. He like aerated my chest with his track spikes. So it was like, I don't talk to actors. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. He walked right over me. He's a mean guy. Yeah, uh, you were. I was just ignoring you. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's like I was holding on to his cuff as he was dragging me along the corridor floor. Dan, please recognize me. Uh, now, uh, I'm trying to picture you as, as, as a child, which isn't all that difficult because it's Look probably... the shape of my head. It's a test tube. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, were you were you off the wall? Were you did you, did the uh, teachers well, were teachers afraid to see you come into the room? Uh, yeah, but much as know. we are here, <laughs> his eyes biking out. Roger Rabbit, my youth. Wow. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I was uh, I was growing on a sponge, which is uh, a little difficult when you you know your parents are having a shower and they see their twins disappear down the drain. You know, oh my God! But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 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 well, never mind. Now, uh, how about how about your family? Are they were they happy that you're doing what you're doing? Yeah. I mean, not doing this. I can't do this. <laughs> so actually, you're come on bands. a hand, come on a hand. <laughs> do they do they like uh, your being an actor? Well, I they? never see them, so you know, uh, yeah, I think they do. I mean, uh, did they support this move, this uh, career? Well, move? you know, to start off with it, 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 it was very much like acting's for a wimp, son. And I, I still kind of think it is. Nice inspiring speech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And what, it really sent they, me into the acting What would profession. they have preferred you? you uh, uh, either a, a hockey player or a plasterer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I uh, you know, but now it's gone right the other way. Now, if I go to my dad's golf club, uh, you know, I'll. Uh, <laughs> it, what? <laughs> Boy, you do a sound yeah. effect. Too. That's great. That's right. I, I just passed a stone. And, and, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they got wrong cable. We're not. <laughs> no holes have to be drilled to see this show. <laughs> Um, uh, hockey. Yeah, and uh, now if I go down to my dad's golf club and, you know, it goes right the other way and it'll, you know, it's like, uh, come on, Max, say something funny. I'll go, Dad, it's Matt. Come on, Max. You know? okay. <laughs> they still uh, have the headroom, I think. Yeah. What, what happened to Max? Max was on, on covers of magazines. Max was doing television commercials. Max was everywhere. Max ain't nowhere to be found. Now. I know, I know. I got very jealous of him for a time, for the, the time because, uh, you know, there he was on the cover of Newsweek and <laughs> I was on Gay World and Auto Mechanics Monthly. <laughs> They've merged now into one into one exciting publication. Yeah. Auto gay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Auto ratings. What, <laughs> what, um, what happened? What happened? Did he just uh, what? I don't know. Oh. I think the ratings were lousy. Well, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you too know, much, I, too much Max, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't think he can get too much Max. Do you, Pat? Well, no. Frankly, no. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. I, I think it's, you know, we probably, it, I, I think we spent so much time going for the look of the show that it kind of became guilty of style over content, you know, and, and as great as the bright white light through smoke was, and, 
it, it, it ended up being, you know, just too hard to maintain that, uh, you know, that, that work process. But it, it was really fun to do. I mean, it was a great calling card for me, and I certainly don't begrudge it at all. Yeah, sure, sure. And now, uh, now we've got this doctor show, and we're going to take a break and come back and talk about that and lots of other things and find out if Timmy's still in the shaft. <laughs> Stay with us, folks. Matt Frewer will be right back. You any good with this? You any good with this? You know, mirror, mirror on no. the wall. <laughs> Who's got the biggest medicine balls of all? Okay, what do I have to do? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a sound stand. technician with a bleeding eardrum now. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's okay, made of stern stuff. It's okay. He used to be very good with the Really? Look at it go. I think, I think the key phrase is used to be. Yeah, I think the key <laughs> phrase is useless. Here, Dan, are you any good? <laughs> Well, I don't know. I just thought we'll find someone who can do it. Maybe okay. Mike Connors is good. Okay, maybe this. another toy. Well, we'll find out later. Now, you want to talk about the show or not? Are you happy sure. with it? You like yeah, oh, it? I love the show, yeah. Doctor, Doctor, Mondays, 10.30, right here on CBS? On CBS. You are a doctor. Yes, I am. A scary thought for all patients. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. My tongue is still depressed. <laughs> see. Uh, we actually have... <laughs> Delayed reaction. What did he mean by that? <laughs> Some deep hidden social. Well, I'm not quite sure. We have a, we have a piece of tape, or f is it a tape show or a film show? Not to get film, too technical. Film, dear boy. Film, it's a film uh -huh, show. Yes, classy stuff. And uh, is this this piece from Monday show? Yeah, Monday this. Show? Um, I'm not sure which one this is from. It probably is the next. Is it? I don't know. Dan, has something to do with? I'm not sure, man. How many fingers am I holding? Yeah. Butterfly. Seagull. Um, See why I ignored him. It has something to do with weighing somebody, that's all I know. Weighing somebody. Is that yeah. mean? Does uh, it yes. sound like Monday show? Uh, uh, no, there's a, a really big person. Like, she's so big, she turns sideways, she blocks traffic, and, and she uh, comes on, and, uh, and her name is Sheila Falenke, and she's trying to convince me that she's only 115, when we all know she's about 2015. Uh, well, let's, let's check this medical man in action. Matt Fru from Dr. Dr. Watch. You're afraid to get on that scale, aren't you? What would I be afraid of? I'm sure I don't know. That's between you and gravy. Grab, grab, grab. I don't appreciate your attitude. You're a chicken. Or do you just want one? Is that the scale you want me to get on? It is that scale you want me to get on? This is the scale you want me to get on? Because I can get on that scale, no problem. I'm on the scale. I'm on the scale. Oh, I'm on the scale. One fifteen, it is. Looks funny to me. Looks <laughs> funny to me. Now let's comedy with a capital K. Sure. I hope they all have Nielsen boxes. <laughs> I know. I have them stacked up in my garage at home. Do you? Do you ever know anyone with a Nielsen box, by the way? You no. Ever no. Maybe they're fictitious things. Did anyone they in don't... here ever have a ratings box in their TV set? No. no? I have one right here. Well, I just was, <laughs> just was curious about that. Yeah. Uh, your wife is has been a guest on the show. Is yes, she be? has. Um, she's been on one episode, which is yet to air. Yeah, and does she play a love interest? Or? Yes, she does. Oh, good. Well, yes, that, yeah. How true to life. No acting required. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> does she still live in the East, and you live out here? Uh, it... No, she was living over in England, and now she's out here. She came out here, uh, God, I guess it was about six months ago. Did she yeah. lived in England while you were married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a long commute. Oh, yeah, long, long distance love affair. How'd you do that? Uh, by phone, you know. Yeah? Yeah, magazines. <laughs> <laughs> This, um... You asked. I did, yeah, I did. I did. I think I'll just play with this for a while. <laughs> you mentioned... Uh, you know, John I McEnroe I, started that way. I mentioned the, uh, the, uh, the shrinking movie, which did very well this, yes. uh, this past yes. time. Are yeah. they going to do any more of these? Sometimes yeah, sure, sequels so. are big. Yeah, we're, we're talking about sequels. We're gonna, uh, they're talking about uh, Honey, I Made the Kids Invisible, which would uh, probably be cheap to shoot. You know. <laughs> Empty room, and then we'll just do voiceovers. And then, uh, uh, and then uh, we're talking about uh, Honey, I Sent the Kids to the Moon, and... Uh, Honey, uh, I Xerox the Kids, sort of a cloning movie. I think that sounds good, sure. Well, we'll be looking for those in a theater, in a theater near us. Have you ever played a, uh, a really romantic uh, role, lead, uh, kiss the girl kind of? Yeah, kinda? I did Romeo once. Did you? Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. This was on stage? Uh, yeah, I, I did a lot of uh, West End theater in, in London and stuff, and did a lot of the uh, serious Shakespearean type roles, you know, yeah. iambic pentameter. But I, I got tired of talking with a rhythm. 
Yeah. Now I, I'm white. <laughs> That's right. Hopelessly There's, white. There's no way around that, is no, there? No. no, no. <laughs> are you? Uh, are, do you miss doing that kind of thing? I mean, do, could you? Uh, not really. I'd, I'd like to get back to it at some point. But uh, you know, right now, I'm I'm really happy with Doctor Happy Doctor to and stuff. crawl out on a sh show with hair curlers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Gee, careers, did you make a fool of yourself there? <laughs> careers take strange turns, yeah. don't they? Well, I hope uh, they're saying nice things about the show, and I hope uh, hope uh, it keeps rolling for you. Doctor Doctor, 10:30 Mondays here on CBS. Great having you back, Matt. Thank I know you. you've got to run, but stay there for just a moment, Matt. Folks. We'll take a break and then wander out into the audience.